Hey guys, Jay here. So there's one effect in After Effects which I hardly ever use. I've always wanted to figure out a use for it and how I could apply it to an animation. And that is CC Mr. Mercury. So you might have seen it when you apply it to layers, it liquefies them into this crazy mercury looking substance. I've decided to create an animation using CC Mr. Mercury to show you how it can be used. So in this tutorial, we're gonna go over CC Mr. Mercury and look into how you can actually use this within your projects. So that's enough of the intro. Let's just jump into it and get started in After Effects. So first we're going to want to create a composition. I'm going to change the dimensions to 1920 by 1080, change the frame rate to 25 FPS and make it a duration of five seconds. Make sure you label your comp um, something obvious, so I'm calling my main comp. From here, I'm going to create a background. You can use any color you want, but I like, I'm going with blue, with a hex value of 6CB9FF. Now we've got our background, we're now going to want to create the motion that our animation will take within the video. So how we're going to do this, I'm going to create a circle so if you select the shape layer at the top and create a circle and put it into the center of the frame, the size of your shape will affect the motion of your animation. If you open up the settings, we're going to want to convert the ellipse path into a bezier. So if you right click it and click convert to bezier path. Now we've done that, we're going to need to create a null object. The null object is going to follow the shape of the circle we've just created. I'm now going to name the null object motion if you open up your circle layer again, copy the path and now paste it into your position of your null object. As you can see, the null object now follows the shape of the circle we've created just now. And mine's off center, so I'm gonna have to select the position to line up the shape of the null's path to the circle, so it's in the center. Now we've done that, we can now delete the circle. With my animation, I'm planning on having an intro and an outro section. As you saw in the original video we had, the animation comes in from off screen and leaves off screen as well. So what I'm going to do is move the position keyframes further into the composition. So I'm having my animation start at one second and finish five frames after the three second mark. So now at the beginning, I'm going back to frame zero and I'm going to take the null and drag it off screen and select the pen tool and add a curve to the path. I'm now going to drag it off a little bit more to make sure it's fully off screen when it starts. If you go to four seconds in, I'm going to do the exact same as I've just done with the intro, but go to the right of the screen instead of the left and add a curve to the motion path to and drag it off screen. As you'll be able to see, it's very faintly, the null comes in off screen, does a loop and then leaves. What I always like to do is ease my keyframes. I'm going to now change the velocity of the animation to my liking. You can edit this however you like, but I'll put on screen the exact influence, the exact velocity I've used throughout the animation if you'd like to copy me exactly, but I'd always recommend this is the sort of thing you should just play about yourself, have a tweak about to get the motion and the look that you're going for. It's always nice to figure out how change of velocity slightly and the different eases can affect your animation as a whole. Now I'm happy with this, I'm going to create a new layer and name it body and change the color to white. This will be one of the main bodies within our yin and yang animation we're creating. So what you want to do now is add an effect to it called CC Mr. Mercury. So what you want to do now is open up the settings within your body and go into the CC Mr. Mercury settings. You'll find one of the features in it is called producer. The producer is the origin of the effect. So what you want to do now is pick whip this producer to the position of your motion layer. This will move the Mr. Mercury effect along the position of your motion layer. Now we've pick whipped the producer to the position. If you hit play, you'll see that the animation does fall off the position of your motion layer. But as you can see, it looks a bit like ink splattering everywhere. What we want to do is limit the size of this. So for paint, and the effect isn't exploding outwards, it's keeping quite contained. What we want to do is drop the velocity to zero and the gravity to zero. It's getting a bit closer now, it's more compact. And if we increase the birth rate to five and 
and reduce the longevity to one. By doing this, you start to get the shape that we're looking for, um, the shape that was seen at the beginning. But what we now want to do is invert the birth size and death size. So if we change the birth size to one and the death size to zero, this will start with each of the blobs starting big and becoming smaller the longer they're on screen. So now we start to get this effect. So that's the look that I'm quite happy with. What we now want to do is duplicate this layer. At the top of the screen, you'll find layer within the menu bar and select solid settings. What we want to do is change this color from white to black and let's rename the layer to eye. What this layer is going to be is the dot that you find in the yin and yang. Hit OK, but one thing you'll have noticed is our white layer has disappeared entirely. So what we're going to do is make the animation within the Mr. Mercury even more compact than the last one. So to do that, if we go into the settings, we'll increase the birth rate to 10, reduce the birth size from one to 0 0.3. Um, we'll also want to reduce the longevity of each block. So let's reduce that from one to 0.1. This will make for each blob smaller and to make it even more compact let's change the radius from five and reduce it to one so now we've done this let's hit play and see what it looks like now we've created for one side of the yin and yang we're going to want to create the inverted version so now select all your layers excluding the background and pre-compose them i'm going to call it white go up to your project window and duplicate the white composition. Let's rename this composition black. Now drag this new composition into your timeline and you'll see it's complete again. It um, just looks as if there's only one thing in there. Select the black composition. Let's rotate it by 180 degrees. So now you can see that we're starting to make the circle, but obviously this black layer for colors are incorrect. They're the wrong way. So we're going to want to now invert the colors. And to do that, we need to select the effects tab at the top, go down to channel, apply the invert effect to this layer. What this will do is now flip the colors. So the white will now become the black and the black will become the white. If you hit play, you'll start to notice there's one problem is we're starting to get for one layer is overlapping the other one. So there is a way to fix this. If you double click on the black composition, you'll open up this composition. Select the body layer. And what we're going to want to do is reduce the longevity of the animation. So if you click on the Mr. Mercury effect on this layer and reduce the longevity from one to 0 0.6. And what you'll see is the tail has shrunk. Now let's go back into our main composition and you can see the tail is no longer overlapping the body of the white layer. But there's one more thing to do in this now just to finish it off so what you want to do now is duplicate the white layer in this composition i'm going to rename it black long you could call it black tail you could call it anything you want but what they're going to do is put this layer beneath the white layer and rotate it by 180 degrees just like the original black layer we had and now also apply an invert to this once you've done this, that's it. You'll see the body of a white layer overlaps with black and the body of a black overlaps with white and it just looks so much better. So that's it. We've now created our yin and yang animation using the CC Mr. Mercury effect. By using the techniques I've explained in this video, I've been able to create a load of different effects like this candle. I've also created some sort of comets, um, this reveal animation. If you like the look of those animations, I'll happily break those down into how I've created those by following the steps in this video and just tweaking the settings and tweaking the motion paths and you'll be able to come up with animations like these. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you use this to make any videos, I'd love to see them. So please send them through to me. That would be great. Well, have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.